Here is a quadratic that's already in the completed square form. And I'm going to look at how we can use this form to solve um, for x. If you want to know how we get quadratics into a similar form to this, then be sure to check out the last video. I'll leave linked in the cards. Um, so we're going to add 4 to both sides here. So we have x plus 1 squared equals 4 with the aim of isolating x. We're going to take square root. It's important to remember that when we take the square root, we're taking the positive and negative square root of 4. So that's plus or minus 2. So that means x is equal to subtracting 1 from both sides, minus 1, plus or minus 2. So x is equal to minus 1 plus 2, or x is equal to minus 1 minus 2. And oftentimes people say, well, which is it then, this or that? And we're meaning here that both of these are solutions. If we were doing some problem in context, we might focus on one or the other, but um, but these are both solutions, okay? Uh, just not at, at the at the same time. X can't take two values at the same time. So this is x is equal to one, or x is equal to minus three. And we can job, double check this by plugging these back in. We plug one back in, we get one plus one squared. It's four minus four is equal to zero, or we get minus 3 plus 1 squared, so that's minus 2 squared, that's 4, minus 4 is equal to 0. So we know these are our solutions. And like I mentioned in the previous video, for quadratics, the maximum number of solutions we can have is 2. So now we've got two solutions, we don't have to look at any more. Okay, this was a short video uh, that hopefully had some utility. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like. Uh, comment below any topics you need help with and I'll try my best to get a video out shortly But for now, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day